This train has been going for about 10 minutes straight. We barely made it to the gas station. All right, so we have the Dodge and clean Cat Eye Duramax. <laughs> we're taking the Corolla. New hood's looking good though. Hair from the your new friend. New headlight looks sharp though. All right, let's go ahead and hop in here and we'll head to look at the new truck. All right, change of plans. Started driving the Corolla and it started making a pretty bad noise and was shaking pretty bad. So we think maybe a CV axle was going out whenever the deer hit it. So we are gonna go ahead and take the Duramax. All right, guys. There's the next truck. How's it going, guys? It is actually the next day. We did end up buying the truck last night. Whenever we were pulling up, it was getting kind of late and dark. As you guys know, we were kind of having issues with the Corolla, and the guy lived two hours away. So by the time we got there, it was getting kind of dark. I didn't want to bring the camera out uh, as we were buying the truck, because some guys get kind of weird when recording stuff. But we did end up buying the truck. This is actually the first time I've seen it in the daylight daylight. We knew the paint wasn't in the best shape from the pictures, but now that I'm actually seeing it, it's a little bit worse than what I thought it was gonna be, which is no biggie. We're actually about to wash it real quick because I've got to pull it in the garage and get the paint kind of cooling down because Kyle should be here in about an hour. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick buff and polish on it and see if we can't bring it mostly back to life. The truck itself is actually pretty mechanically sound. Drove two hours home last night, even though it's covered in bug guts, but it, the truck itself is actually a really smooth riding truck. This is actually the first make and actually model of the truck I've ever owned, which you guys will see in a second. But a uh, pretty sharp truck, super happy we got it. And now talking, let's go ahead and show you guys the truck. Here's a new truck guys, 2004 Chevy Silverado. I've never personally owned a Chevy or a Silverado. I have had a GMC Sierra, which is kind of similar, and the Sierra actually was a 03. So it kind of feels like I'm sitting inside of that old truck. But here she is, 04 Silverado, has about 167,000 miles on it, Z71 package with the cloth interior. Door should be unlocked. Everything mechanically is sound on the truck, like I was talking about, four wheel drive, everything works. Biggest thing on the truck, in my opinion is the dash i was really hoping the dash was going to be in good shape and of course the for sale pictures didn't have a picture of the dash the guy said he completely forgot it kind of sucks but it is what it is we we're able to get a pretty big discount on the truck which will help us you know figure out if we're going to replace that or not or just put an overlay on it the other big thing is the paint which is kind of hard to tell right here but it's kind of foggy in some areas Let's see if i can't get a better picture in the sun you can kind of tell right here, you know, the gloss on the hood is still there, but just on the top of this fender, it just looks a little bit milky. So that's what we're going to go ahead and wash the truck up and see if we can bring it back to life. The other side is the same way. Headlights also, we're going to go ahead and replace those, which you can kind of see right here as well. Just right above the pinstripe. It doesn't go past the pinstripe, but just right in between the hood and the pinstripe, you can kind of see this area right here. Just a little foggy, so we're going to see if we can, you know, put some love in it. The only aftermarket mod the guy did to the truck was actually put a little bit bigger set of tires on here. But besides that, the truck is completely bone stock. All right, some of you guys might be a little bit confused on why the Silverado is in my driveway. If you guys have been kind of sticking along, I sold the red Cummins in order to buy another Cummins. Ended up finding a white F-150. Knew that one was going to be a quick flip. The content on there, was I was just kind of not too excited about that truck, to be honest with you. I did end up making a little bit of money on it. We ended up taking the camper shell off and the steps off, made a few hundred dollars selling those, which ended up paying off for the new spark plugs and actually the title. The title took forever to come in. I was hoping I only had that truck for like a week or so. Usually the titles come in within a week where I'm at, and uh, that title took like two to three weeks to come in. So I was just kind of bored of the truck. Honestly, I was kind of disappointed. It's kind of like... I guess got motivation, kind of just died with that truck when the title took so long to come in because I was wanting to just kind of get it and be gone. And uh, I thought I was going to keep it a little bit longer than why I ended up keeping it. But I was just, once I had it and I was like, you know what, this isn't, I just really wanted another diesel, honestly, what it came down to because I already had a gas truck. So this is why you guys might be confused of why I sold the F-150 then went ahead and bought another gas truck. Uh, the F-150, we did make a little bit of money on, uh, sold it. We ended up paying just to be kind of transparent with you guys. We paid three grand for the truck, uh, made, like I said, sold a bunch of parts off of it, made a few hundred dollars, which ended up bringing it kind of back up to three grand once we paid off for the spark plugs and some miscellaneous stuff. 
And then uh, I ended up posting the truck for five grand, and I had a guy message me within an hour, came and bought the truck, and uh, ended up selling it for like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars more than what I had into it. I probably could have sat on it and sold it a little bit longer, but the reason I sold it so quick was because a, a first gen manual uh, four wheel drive truck popped up for sale. And it had been for sale for a few days, so I ended up selling the F-150 really quick. Went to go try to buy that one, and a guy ended up beating me to it, which kind of sucks because I just actually found that same truck for sale in Florida for a little bit more than what it was originally for sale for. So a guy literally just bought it and uh, just intentionally wanted to go ahead and flip it, which I know that's kind of what I'm, I did with the F-150 and what I'm going to end up doing with this one. But the first one I actually was going to keep for myself and just kind of fix it up on the channel. That's the whole thing with this channel is kind of being around is like kind of fixing up Dodge trucks. And, uh, but this one ended up popping up for sale. Never had a cat eye. Uh, me, and my, me and my buddy actually went in together on this truck, and he's a big cat eye, the guy that had the cat eye Duramax in the last video. And he kind of flips these on the side. And uh, so me and him went together on this truck. He's like the professional on these things. S says we had a really good deal on it. I think we did get a good deal on it. I'll once again kind of be transparent with you guys once we sell it, uh, what we paid for it, what we end up selling it for. But this one should be pretty quick flip as well. All it really needs is, like I said, a, a, paint, a good, really good paint correction, interior detail, uh, new headlights. We're going to figure out the dash. If we're either going to you know, try to glue those pieces back together because the whole dash is actually there, but the, the uh, cracks are all in it. As you guys know, as Dodge guys, we don't really care about crack da dashes. We're kind of used to it. But someone buying a truck might want that replaced or fixed. So like I said, the pieces are there. I don't know if you can glue those back together and then put an overlay on top of it. We're kind of going to do some research and see how that goes. I'd rather not replace the entire dash because at the end of the day, it is a 04 Z71 Silverado. So whoever buys this truck is just going to use it as a, a work truck anyways. And if we're trying to make the most bang for our buck, we don't want to just spend a bunch of money into it. But at the same time, we want it to look really nice and stand out. So I think once we do the paint correction, fix the headlights, you know, trim up some or trim paint some pieces, it should be a really sharp truck. This color should pop. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick wash on it now. Like I said, I gotta pull it in the garage. That way the paint kind of simmers or uh, cools down. That way we can go ahead and start polishing it. Here comes Kyle now. But we just are finishing up washing the truck. This is giving me high hopes right here. See how this is kind of dry here. It still looks kind of milky and foggy. This part's wet and you kind of see that color coming back. So I'm getting high hopes for this paint coming back to life. Tacking the headliner back in place right now. We've already got this side done, kind of holding it with thumbtacks. Got a couple more for the driver's side once we get that laid down. Just using this 3M headliner adhesive. Had pretty good luck with it before. We actually bought this originally for the Cummins and didn't end up using it because we sold the Cummins. Now we're using them the Silverado. So that looks looking good. We're gonna throw some thumbtacks up there and let it sit overnight. All right, guys, just gave the Silverado a quick little rinse just to get the polishing dust and compound off the truck. We only did the top half, kind of where the uh, pinstripe is go, that goes up to the hood. And you guys can already tell, it's night and day difference from what it was. The hood and the fender actually kind of look similar to this point. Like I said, we didn't even have the right uh, combo to actually polish this out. We actually just had a wool pad and some stuff laying around in the garage. So we didn't polish the entire truck, but we think we have a pretty good idea on what to tackle this truck with. I mean, you can even see on this side, you guys remember before, you couldn't even see any of the flake that was in here. Now it's actually coming up matching. And same thing on this cab corner back here. So you can actually see a little bit of the color coming back. We didn't even do the top half. You can kind of see how it's still kind of milky and foggy compared to this cab corner. So it's definitely gonna come back. Went ahead and did the bed rails, same thing. You can kind of see the flake coming back. So this truck, once we get done actually polishing and paint correcting it, actually putting a clay bar on it, iron deconing it, and washing it and uh, polishing it the correct way, this paint is going to pop. So I'm super excited, but gonna go ahead and end the video out here, guys. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoy the new Silverado content, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.